All right, so now it's time to print out these variables to the console. There is a shortcut in opening the console, and it goes like this. Quote, lowercase h, end quote. Go over to the right, click on this circle all the way to the right, and it becomes a plus button, and that will open up our console. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what it looks like to print these things out. Now, I'm going to type this out, and I will go over the syntax after it's done. So we start out by going print, ln, open, close parentheses, and get in there. And we're going to just type in, quote, hello, let's make it correct, hello world. And you can see over in the console, hello world was printed out. Now let's do a print using our constant and variable. So let's do the constant first. We're going to do print, ln, open, close parentheses, Go in there and we're going to do, quote, I have backslash open close parentheses and we're going to type in number of eggs in dozen, okay, close parentheses, eggs since I just bought a fresh dozen yesterday yesterday. There we go. Okay, so let's look over at our console. You see, printed out, I have 12 eggs since I just bought a fresh dozen yesterday. Do you see that 12? That came from the value of this constant. And let's take a look at the syntax for a moment. Swift uses placeholders in longer strings to hold the place for the value of the constant or variable. This is called string interpolation, and it'll get used a lot in your coding. Basically, you start the placeholder with a backslash, then open parentheses, the name of your variable or constant, and then close parentheses, and then continue on with your string statement. Now, don't forget to encase the whole thing in open and closing quotes so that it tells it to print it out to the console. Okay, now let's try this with the variable. So we're going to go print ln, open and close parentheses, Let's see, let's do the forward slash, maybe that's backslash, sorry about that. Um, let's call this, uh, we're going to use breakfast special, okay, end parentheses, let's see, breakfast special, we're going to use is the special menu item, let's see if I can type item for today's, today's brunch. And let's see what the cons. Oh my goodness, I really am having trouble typing today. Okay, so let's see what got printed out. The Western omelet is the special menu item for today's brunch. You see how that used the placeholder for the variable breakfast special and it created, it, it held the place for the value, which is Western omelet. Now, suppose we want to change the value of these two. Let's test this. So let's go back up here. Let's do number of eggs and dozen, and Swift should already, you know, do the autocomplete right there. So number of eggs and dozen, let's pretend we broke one, and we're going to do 11. Look what Swift did. It already told us that we, there's going to be an error. And why is there an error? Because we declared this as a constant, and constants cannot be changed once they're declared. Okay, this is called type safe coding. And basically what it means is Swift is going to alert us immediately if our code is not going to compile. So that's a good thing to know, rather than wasting some time debugging. So let's delete that so it doesn't get angry at us. And let's try switching up the breakfast special value. Breakfast special is now going to equal, let's see, how about spinach quiche? All right. And now look over here. The spinach quiche is the special menu item for today's brunch. So we had the placeholder breakfast special, and because we set it to var as a variable, it allowed us to change from Western omelet to spinach quiche. All right, so that's it. Now, let's recap what we've done so far in the past two videos. We downloaded the beta version of Xcode 6, and if you're registered as a developer and paid the $99, um, then you'll be able to access it right away. If not, you could just follow along with me and wait for the public version to come out. It's, we talked about constants and variables. Constants can never be changed within your code, and variables are used for when you need the value to change within your code. 
We talked about declaring variables and constants using explicit types, such as colon strings and ints with a semicolon syntax to explicitly let Swift know what type of value we are declaring. And finally, we printed out some statements referring to our variables and constants using string interpolation syntax as placeholders for the value we declared for the constant and variable. So, now that we've gotten our feet wet with the very basics of Swift programming language, let's use what we've learned so far and make a simple app in Xcode 6. See you in the next lecture!